The last 12 months have been absolutely insane. By far, no comparison. The single best 12 months of my life, all right? What happened between me turning 18 and me turning 19, which when you guys are watching this, it is currently my 19th birthday. March 6, 2019 is my 19th birthday. I was born March 6, 2000. Now, this is really crazy because 13 months ago, okay, in February of 2018, I completed one of my biggest dreams, and this is not within the, the time frame of 12 months, but 13 months ago, I moved to Los Angeles. I've been waiting to do this, and I just realized I wasn't vlogging. Actually, sneak peek. Uh-oh. This one's gonna be sick. Other than that, she's packed up a little bit and good to go, so you guys are gonna be seeing this, I guess, for you here in a second in the morning. So let's go, y'all. Go. This right here might be the last time, at least in a long, long while, that I'm in this room. It's been good. Time to move on. A little bit nostalgic just here in my, my home where I grew up. Never moved in my life. First time is out here on my own. 17. I am 17, by the way. I know a lot of people don't believe. So starting out 18, I spent my birthday in Los Angeles, California, which is where I had always wanted to live. So started off the year right. I was out there looking for houses, you know, trying to move into the Hollywood Hills. I was in Airbnbs, like near the beach, living the dream, having an amazing time. You know, it felt so accomplishing to do that. And you know, to run you guys through everything that happened, it, you know, I, I'm naturally kind of an impatient person. I want to get things done quick. But when I slow down and take a look at everything I've done, you know, time-wise, how much I've traveled, how many times I've moved, like every little thing, a lot can happen in one year. So always keep your head up, always stay hustling and keep putting in the work. I promise you it's worth it, all right? So I wanna run you guys through this. Uh, March 6th, I was in Santa Monica, California for my 18th birthday. Now, major events that happened. Spring, okay, for spring break, end of March, so like three weeks after my birthday, I took a flight with six hour notice out of the country to Mexico. I've never been to Mexico. Actually, yeah, I've never been to Mexico before in my life. That was the first time. I've been there a few times since then, which is crazy. But with no plan, by myself, I went there to go surprise my family while they were on spring break because I hadn't seen them in a few months, like two months since I had moved out. So I flew down there, randomly surprised them. I rent a dirt bike. I'm driving through the desert to go find them in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Wild adventure. I'm there for a week. Come back, end up looking for houses in the Hollywood Hills, not finding anything I liked. Screw it, let's go travel. I proceed to spend the next three months of the year traveling everywhere. I went to New York, then I went to China, Bali, Thailand, Malaysia, Russia, Prague, Amsterdam, all over. Got to see places that I've never even dreamed possible. So beautiful, absolutely some of the most insane scenery of my life because I had never really left the country much growing up, only one time. I went to Paris for two days. So it wasn't exactly the wildest like overseas travels. So that was a really cool experience, a great culture shock for me to be able to see all of that stuff. I'm very, very blessed to do so. Now, the couple of friends that I was traveling with, you know, I was flying a videographer along with me to get everything on film and just have a good time. So that, that in itself is an amazing experience to be able to do that. Have a good group of friends. We had four people. Um, some of them kept traveling on. After three months, I was like, you know what? I want to go back to LA because I had just completed my dream of moving there and, you know, I hadn't really done what I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to be out there. I had shipped my BMW M4 out there, which is, you know, one of my dream cars, favorite car that I, you know, own and it's, it's I love it. So I put the car in storage when I went to travel travel and I, I still had that itch to be in LA and drive that car and get a place there. So I fly back to LA about a month later after looking for more spots and being in Airbnbs, I settled. I got a beautiful place on the beach in the most peaceful spot down in Newport that I absolutely love. I still have it to this day. 
And what's crazy now, advancing through that, after I got that place, I went a little bit into my silent mode. All I did was work for a couple months, I rolled out a few fun projects, both publicly and behind the scenes, different businesses I was starting, taking a, a little bit more of an approach of just trying to grow the business stuff because when I was traveling, it was more so staying flat roughly. So, you know, completely scaled the business, you know, started making more money than I've ever made before, really just, just quietly focusing down. And then I kind of got bored with where I was. So two months later, I took a random road trip with about, I think, six minutes notice. With six minutes notice, I grabbed my phone, grab a backpack, throw some stuff in my bag, and I was in my car moving within six minutes. I remember that. And I was driving to Las Vegas, five hour road trip, drove to Vegas, spent a couple days there in this beautiful place, got to enjoy the views. You wanna know what I did there? I only left my hotel or the, the Airbnb one time. All I did was work and I switched my schedule so that I was awake at night and asleep during the day so I have a beautiful view, like 200. It was like this full crazy view. Um, absolutely insane to be there. But I wanted to work, I was finishing up some big stuff for some stuff I was launching so I went ahead and made sure I got that done. Came back, kept working, you know, doing my thing. It was like a total of four months. Then. Um, one of my buddies that I was traveling with, a good friend and business partner, came back, moved in with me at my place in Newport. Um, we started working, kept doing some stuff, ended up getting a house like right down the road. So we had like a four bedroom house, like 10 minutes down the road. We started working there. We had employees living there. We we're using it as an office. I ended up going to Arizona for my first time ever in October. Never expected I'd like it. I'm currently here in Arizona in one of my new places here. And I never expected to even like it. So I met some really cool people. I was just working in Newport, so I didn't really have a social circle. I did that on purpose to kind of distract myself um, from distractions, you know, so all I would do is work. Loved the social circle out here in Arizona, decided this is where I kind of want to be sometimes, so I started coming out here like five, ten different times over the course of a couple months. I started being here half the time, met some really cool people. Next thing you know, now I have a condo and a house out here. So it's super cool. I'm out here. I still have the place in California, and you know, as you guys are watching this on my birthday, as this drops at least, I'm currently in the the most ridiculous mansion I could find on Airbnb in the Hollywood Hills. Beautiful view, modern, like a dream home. And you know what's funny? I saw this exact same house that I'm staying at, which you guys will see if you follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat. I saw the exact same house on Airbnb three years ago when I was broke and I loved it. So now that I'm able to do that, it's, it's gonna be the most amazing experience. And you know, being there surrounded by people who really care about you, like being there with your friends, you know, having a good time and throwing a party at night, it's, it's gonna be insane. It's really gonna be a great time. I'm super excited um, and, and just super blessed to be in that position to make that decision. So that's been crazy. I ended up, you know, moving to Arizona basically. You know, I've only been at my place in Newport about one day out of the last like two and a half months. Ended up going to Mexico over New Year's in the uh, end of 2018, so into 2019, which was my last travel. Went there for a week with someone, got to have a lot of fun, you know, visiting some crazy places. And, you know, for me, I was never a big money spender, even though it kind of seems like it. Like, you know, but I was spending like, it was expensive because it was New Year's, but spending a lot of money, having a beautiful, beautiful place out there, really enjoying myself. And, you know, it, it was insane because for me, that trip was the first time where I took a break. I've never taken a break. I've never put my foot on the break. I've never taken it off the gas even. So for me, it's, it's never been throttled. It's always just go. And so I'm someone where I've never worked less than 10 hours a day. I really haven't. And so typically it's gonna be 14 to 16 hours all day. And so what happened was I went to Mexico and for five full days, I was there, you know, I went there and then five full days and another day on the back end. So five full days, I only worked a total of about four hours. It was like two hours one day and like a little, probably less actually, like two, three hours. Yeah, you know, I went two full days in a row without once checking my email. And to me, it was like in the back of my mind and I had to learn to get over it. It was a little bit of discipline, but Man, it was the crazy experience. And I, I came back refreshed after having a great time, some great memories with an awesome person. Got to go ahead and come back, you know, feeling really refreshed and ready to go. So came back a few weeks later. Um, I signed on my place here that I have. I got a condo. The very next week, I bought my Lamborghini. <laughs> no. I signed on a house that same exact day. So moving right into 2019 with speed and efficiency, hitting some of my goals. So achieved that Lamborghini while I was 18, which has always been a, a car that I've had my eye on. So it's been crazy. 
And now, you know, fast forward to now, just one month during February, February right now has been an amazing month. You know, I'm filming this in March, like right before my birthday. And February has just been full of a lot of work. I didn't travel, I mean, I went to LA once, I had to go do a few things there, just amazing meetings and whatnot, but it, it's just been work. So I'm going back into my work stage. You're, you're gonna be seeing me going back, diving deep, and then what's gonna happen again in the summer, I'm gonna be leaving the country for a few months again. I'm actually planning all of that later tonight. So it, it's been a really crazy experience, and you know, all those things sound crazy, and to me it's like, I'm always like, what can I do, what can I do? Like, we're not moving, we're not getting this done. But when I stop, when I put my foot on the brake, and when I take a look at everything that's happened, everything that I've accomplished, everything I've failed at, and I put all that together, a lot of stuff has happened. I can never complain. I can't say I didn't give it my all. You know, in certain situations, I wish I was more productive. I'm still working on that. But every single day, my only goal is to become 1% better. So I really hope that the, the 19 to 20 age gap is gonna be you know, a year of even more growth, more prosperity, and just scaling everything I'm doing because I'm very happy with where I'm at. You know, I've never been in such a good position mentally, emotionally, physically, my group of friends, my group of business partners, you know, where I'm at with everything, and the position, the opportunities that are available to me. You're gonna see a lot of the stuff I'm doing, at least publicly, shift. And there's a lot of stuff you don't see behind the scenes that's natural with anyone else in business, but just know that I'm, I'm, I'm focused on the work. I'm focused on scaling everything. I'm very excited. I'm, I'm just enthusiastic every single day. I love waking up. You know, five hours of sleep. I know I'm tired, but my, my energy is just boom. I'm with it because I'm excited. And you know, that's when you're going to create real results and you know, create something impactful and meaningful. So that's what I'm truly excited for every single day. It's been a really fun journey, and I, I hope it continues to do that. I just wanted to give you guys a little outline. Hopefully, throw over a few clips throughout that while I was talking. But you know, you guys can go back on the channel, check out the journey. I would absolutely love Love it if you subscribe right now. I'll tell you what, I'll do you a fair trade. Subscribe to the channel and then you ask a question in the comments down below and I will answer your question, okay? It's a fair trade there. Um, other than that, if you guys enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you dropped a like to let me know. Maybe I'll make this a, a yearly thing, a little recap video, but off the top of my head, those are some of the major milestones that have happened and it's been a lot of fun little stuff and to me, over all of that, that's from a macro perspective. You zoom in and take it from a micro, the most important thing to me to me, other people have different values. They might value the money or they love their Rolex or their you know, whatever. For me, the most important thing is if I wanna leave in six minutes and go to a different state, I can do it. If I wanna go get a bagel right now, instead of checking my email, I can do it. You know, if I wanna get a flight, if I wanna sell my car, if I wanna buy an office chair, like these are simple things. If I wanna go to Walmart and get a rug for my room where it's like $85, I used to not have that choice. I used to not have a car to get to the store. I used to not have money to do that. So it's those little things that by far, no question about it, the freedom of doing almost anything. You know, I'm working towards different levels of freedom, but that freedom of choice for me is by far the most important. The way I saw people being restricted the whole time I was growing up, I never wanted that. So that to me is by far the most important piece. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very meaningful to me. I'm gonna be excited to look back on this video in a year from now as I'm making the next, okay? So go in peace. I wish you guys nothing but success and prosperity all year, no matter how old or how young you are, all right? I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.